Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily compile flip fluids for free. So let's get started. If you like this content, maybe consider subscribing and sharing this video. It would really help me to create more of those videos. So yeah, let's begin. First of all, we will make sure that you have everything installed you need. So go to the links in the video description and download Visual Studio 2019. Or later, it's okay if you have, for example, 2016 installed, it's okay. Then go ahead and download Git. There's a Windows installer, for example. And also download CMake. You can as well just install the uh, installer the the installer right here. Also make sure that you have uh, CUDA installed. Um, for me, it's just the CUDA Toolkit 10.1 update you so you can just choose windows and then x64 of course and then windows 10 for example and choose one of the installation methods it's a fairly big file it's think 2.5 gigabytes or something but you really have to install this and also remember the installation path okay so with that being done if you already have visual studio installed please do yourself a favor and go ahead and have a look at your Visual Studio installer right here. Open it up and make sure that it's German right here. That's okay. Uh, make sure that you have like uh, right here. It should like configuring or something in, uh, in English. You can click on there and make sure that you have um, the C++ package installed as well. So that if you would have um, under the desktop, the desktop development that you have. Um, something with CMake right here, C++ CMake tools for Windows, that you have those installed and also the C++ compiler, because that's important for the Fluid Engine for by Blender to compile it correctly. Next, you want to go ahead and open a command prompt. Right there. You can go ahead and um, Type git clone type https github.com rl guy. I will just paste this command um, in the description as well so you can just easily copy and paste it out of there. Run this command. It will just download the basically the um, sorry, the flip fluids uh, files. There we go. And we can already close this command window and have a look at our folder we got. It should be right here. And if you go to your C drive, then your user and then your username. And then you can go to Blender Flip Fluids. And there you have a few files. So next we can go ahead and open CMake. I hope you have the GUI version installed. It's really helpful. So you can first of all, in the first input right here, you can just go ahead and search for your the download you <laughs> you basically downloaded. So the Blender Flip Fluids uh, folder right here. Click on choose the folder, and what I personally like to do is just never mind. Um, what I like to do is go inside the Blender Flip Fluids ordinary, create a new folder called this build and choose the build folder for the second path. In here type open CL. I just misspelled this open CL like this, like this. So open and then CL. Everything close and then advanced, check advanced and click on configure. Choose your Visual Studio version you have installed. Just make sure that you have one of those versions and then click on finish. It will then start in generating or actually compiling already stuff and if it's like erroring um, you yeah, will have this box right here because you searched for OpenCL and then you can check this thing right here where it says with OpenCL and then click on generate again. I will create a bunch of errors but eventually it should find your CUDA version, which is 
right here, uh, 10.1, and then also the OpenCL library inside of the CUDA version. If, if right here is everything, fine, you can click on Open Project. Then the Visual Studio part comes, where it, get, where it gets a bit nasty. So right here you will need your CUDA OpenCL path. You already have it right here. That's the path, you can just copy it out of here, you will need. In your case it could also be CUDA version 9 for example. Or just a completely different path. But it should be the opencl.lib file you have in some kind of CUDA directory. And that's important because now we can go into Visual Studio again. Right click on Blender Flip Fluids, Blender Pi Fluid and Pi Fluid. So right click right here and click on properties. Go to linker and then input. Go right here on this little check mark or on this drop down menu, click on edit. And then select this, um, this path right here and replace it with the CUDA path we copied earlier. So just make sure you have your opencl.lib file right here. You click on OK. OK, it's in German in my case, sorry. But just go through Blender Flip Fluids, Blender Pi Fluids, also important. So I can edit, replace it, click OK, OK. And then the last one is the Pi Fluid. You have to edit, again click on this little drop down, edit and replace it. Click on OK, OK. And there we actually go. Now we can go to build, build solution. And don't panic, it will drop uh, loads of errors. Like seriously, it will actually um, don't even finish because there will be some errors. Or actually many errors. Just let it run through and we'll see us when it's finished. Okay, so as you can see it says build failed because there are just one directory succeeded. So we can go to build clean solution and now go ahead and click on build solution again. Now it should give us a error window where it says which errors happened. <laughs> basically, so that we can then go ahead and manually fix those errors. We don't even, or I don't even know why those errors happen, but apparently it's not programmed very well or something. I don't know. Still, <laughs> we can go ahead and see that there are a few errors. They are all basically the same. So it says min or max identifier not found or min is not a member of STD. Basically what happened here is that in those files, in those C++ files, things were not imported correctly. So if we would double click on one file that um, has this error, it could min or max, you can double click on this file and it will open up. Then you can just scroll completely up, even though the error might be something a bit down, and go to the include section. There should already be a few includes and just make a new line, type hashtag include and then in those HTML brackets type algorithm like so. You can just copy and paste um, this command everywhere where this, sorry, where this, um, this error happens. So we cleaned OpenCL utilities and then we can go ahead to influence grid. You of course have to just have to do this once for every file. So go here. And also don't forget to save actually. <laughs> you can see that it's not saved because of this little star right here. Um, and go to mesh level set. Scroll up completely. Make sure you go completely up. Right here. Again make sure that you have it right here. Then go to the next file. Uh, CL plus plus and for example right here it's missing and 
go to particle mesher. In your case, it could be different files. For example, I already saw files where it just, uh, sorry, I already saw projects where it just were like two files, I think. But this is just the newest version of libfluid. And apparently there are a few more files <laughs> where this error happens. But still, I mean, we get free libfluid, so. Then here you can see a few things where it says uh, LNK1104 error. Those errors are basically just happening because of those errors. So when we fix all of those little things, in my case you can see which uh, files I had. Um, as I said, I already saw projects where it just were like free files. Doesn't matter, just go... Um, Again, go to build and click on build solution now that you fixed those files. And it should now build without, or actually not without, but it should build successfully. And apparently I forgot a file. Yes, I did. So if we would now go ahead and go to build, sorry for this like little thing right here, go to build solution. And now it says build succeeded down here in this little blue line. So if we would now go again into our Blender flip fluids folder, go to into our build folder. We can see we have a bunch of stuff here, but we are interested in the Blender flip fluids ordner folder right here. Not the one of the dot directory, but just this flip fluids ordner folder sorry <laughs> whatever and then this flip fluids underscore add-on folder this is our add-on make sure that it actually really did build this thing successfully we can double click and make sure that er there are some files in here go to pyfluid lib and make sure that this dll file right here is there this blpy fluid.dll file is here there is one manual fix we have to do before we can use this add-on. Go back to your pyfluid folder and search for pyfluid.py. Right click. I'm gonna edit this with idle, but you can literally edit this with anything. You could even edit this with just your basic notepad. Scroll down till you find this definition right here with the system. Um, yeah, basically where it asks which systems um, this is. And go to Windows, or if you are on Linux, go to Linux, and delete the first three characters. So lib, in my case. So that there is just blpyfluid.dll. If you noticed, this basically is just a file where we already looked in lib and then bl fluid. Just make sure this name of this DLL file is in here. Otherwise you will get an error if you try to bake your simulation. So make sure you're safe and can create out of idle. You can already close um, you can already close Visual Studio. And our the last step we now have to do is go to our Flip Fluids add-on folder and copy it. And so that we copied this um, folder now, we can press Windows button R as a combination and type percent app data percent. Press enter. And now go to Blender Foundation, Blender 2.8, Scripts, Add ons. And now we are in our Add ons folder where all, where are all our Add ons are installed. Sorry. Um, and there we can just paste our flip fluids folder so it's right in here um, so basically if we would now start blender you can go to edit preferences search for flip fluids and it's already activated in my case but as you can see it works perfectly fine and we could for example also make this thing our fluid, um, duplicate it, scale it up, make this our uh, make this our domain, sorry not our fluid but our domain, and make this our fluid, 
and then basically we could go ahead and click on bake. There you go, you have fully flip fluids and you compiled your first plugin. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, maybe consider subscribing and sharing this video it would help me so much continuing these videos. And if you have any questions or errors during this process, feel free to ask in the comments below and will I make sure that I'll answer or maybe other people in the comments will answer your question. So see you in the next one.